there. Uh, today we have the T40 here, T40 battery, and the T40 slash T30 charger. The T40 drone uses the same charger as the Agris T30. So uh, we will start opening the boxes for you to see what comes in the T30, the T40 box and uh, how does the battery look like and so on. So let's get started. So the box of the T40 looks uh, different than the previous versions. After opening these, you should be able to just slide it up. Okay, so uh, we took the cover off. This is inside the box. At the top, we have the battery cooler that is very useful because your batteries are being charged very fast and uh, you need to cool them down if you want the charger to continue charging them. So this is a great addition that comes with the drone. It's not assembled. You will need to assemble it. So I'll put the pieces here. Yep, we have the Agris T40 here. And uh, the first thing that we see here is an adjustable camera. This is the first time that DJI created an agricultural drone with an adjustable camera. And the reason is, uh, you will be able to create small 3D maps with the help of this camera. It's a 12 megapixel camera. It will take pictures of uh, fields like orchard fields or if you are in a mountainous area. It takes pictures and this remote controller will work as a computer and uh, stitches all of those pictures together and create, creates a 3D map for you. And on that 3D map, you will be able to create a spray missions, accurate spray missions for the T40. However, if you have a flat crop, row crops, soybean, corn, or anything like that, you don't need to create a 3D map first. You can just draw at the borders around the field on the remote controller on a Google map. So the propellers that you see here, uh, so the drone has four arms, eight motors and uh, eight pairs of 54 inch propellers from one tip to another um, so one propeller is almost 26 inches and uh, on the t30 for instance it was 18 inches so here um, this is the omnidirectional radar for this drone it used to be on the previous models it was always at the bottom of the drone now they put it here at the top. Um, these are the headlights for the drone. And we have these extra uh, sensors to uh, avoid hitting obstacles. So it's helping you with that. And it's a more advanced uh, system, more advanced radar system. The tank is 10 liters larger than the T30 tank so the t30 was a 30 liter drone and this is a t40 40 liter drone it's almost 2.5 gallons uh, larger uh, the same sort of um, lid with the filter and uh, you fill it up the same logic same concept you have your automatic mission you fill it up, you press continue, it continues when it runs out of chemical or the battery, it comes back to the home point. You refill the tank, you put a new battery in your drone and you just press continue, the drone will go out there and remembers where it left off and it continues again and sprays. So we have two RTK antennas, now they move them to the back. Uh, those are RTK receivers. The, 
The locking system is similar to the T30. And yep, we have aluminum landing gears. T30 had aluminum landing gear, but just the bottom part, this part used to be carbon fiber. Now it's all aluminum. So let's see the back of the, no, don't, wait. Let's not see the back. This right here is the battery for the Agress T40. It's about 26.5 pounds. You can see uh, one of the differences is that there are these uh, aluminum pieces here for cooling the battery, especially because the drone comes with the cooler for these batteries and you just place it, the batteries in the cooler while you're charging them. It cools them then. The reason is that uh, the charger stops charging your battery if uh, your battery is too hot. With the help of that cooler right there, you don't have to be worried about that. So, okay, this is the battery. One last thing that I just noticed, these are the SDR antennas that they connect uh, the drone to the remote controller so they receive signals from the remote controller. Another thing is that you don't see the usual nozzles under the motors because there are two uh, centrifugal nozzles at the back of this drone. It's a different system. It's an improved version of uh, other centrifugal system that they are out in the market. Uh, it's drip free. And we used to always say we do, we do not recommend powder based chemicals for previous Agris drones. With this system, you are able to do that because it doesn't have those nozzles that they can clog. So there's no clogging issue. The pumps on the drone, uh, they improve those as well. So the, chemicals, uh, the chemical doesn't have any contact with the motor. So even if you have corrosive chemicals, it's not going to affect any washers or anything like that. That is uh, very helpful to know that your drone will be always ready to go, low, even lower maintenance than the previous models. So let's see the back of the drone now. All right. So, yep, uh, we have the battery here because the battery compartment is at the back of the drone. These are the RTK receivers that they used to be at the front of the drone. Now they are in the back. So um, to put the battery in, we just place it in, slides in. It's very important to basically just press the front of the battery and hear this clicking sound. Now it's a little higher, so I just uh, need to redo it for you maybe just a second. So let's say if your battery is like that, it's not clicked in. So you just, they made it, they made it better. It just sits and does it. Cool. You don't have to worry about that, but still I recommend you press this down. Uh, to turn on the dr drone or basically to power it on, you just press once and press and hold. Yep, it's uh, starting up. Over here, you can see uh, the marking on the tank that shows up to where you filled it up. 40 liters is here, 38, 36, and so on. This frame uh, has an angle. Uh, it's different than the previous model. Uh, so let's uh, look at this nozzle here. Or maybe this one or whichever is better. Yep, this one. So this nozzle, it's different. You can see this whole mechanism. There, we used to use T-jet nozzles, but as you can see, we have a spinner here. So the chemical comes from this side, goes in, and then here this spins super fast and creates a mist. And you can see from the bottom as well how it looks like. Great. These here also are interesting and interesting design for cooling the motor. The motor is smaller here, but you can see this is bigger and the air gets in, which is very interesting. In addition to that, I don't know if you will be able to see in the video or not. We have, there used to be two types of uh, uh, 
propellers on the previous models, CW that we turned clockwise and CCW. But now we have upper CCW or UCCW, and then we have the lower CCW or L, I mean lower, in this case it's lower CW, LCW. Yeah, oh. So you can maybe just individually zoom in if you couldn't see it in that. All right. I saw this one. Let me see if I can see this one. I don't know. All right. And so we saw that we have on each arm, we have two motors, one at the top, a top upper motor and lower motor. And we have two ESCs. These are ESC modules on the T40. The ESC basically is a motor controller that explains, I mean, I'm sorry, it tells the motor at what speed it should turn and it controls the speed of the motor. So, yep, that's it. So, again, this is the back of the drone. This is where the battery goes. Over here, we have the backward and downward radar, right? And um, behind of that, we have the tank, and under this one, we have the pumps. The pumps are, in this model, they are assembled on the tank. So I will try to open this cover here for you to see. So these are the two pumps. This is a flowmeter on the drone. And uh, there is a board right here, you can see that. That's where it gets the signal from the main board avionics and controls this spray system. And when you remove these to put the spreader in, you're removing the pumps too, which uh, the weight of the pump will be pumps that are removed. You can put seeds and fertilizer or anything like that in the spreader attachment. That is, that is the reason that the spreader attachment can carry almost 10 kilograms more. That is one of the reasons. Uh, yeah, so I mentioned this is the flow meter. And, oh, another thing is that the spray tank, the liquid tank, has sensors, weight sensors, that will tell you how much liquid you have in the tank instead of having, like, a, a liquid level meter, the older-fashioned liquid level meter. Yep. This is the case for the remote controller and some small accessories. So... This is the remote controller for the T40. It has a slightly larger screen, power button, home return to home button, some programmable buttons here, the sticks here, similar and similar to the previous models, and um, the antennas. The antennas do not transmit from the tip, so you want to put the face in a way that your drone is in the same um, direction as the this face of the antennas. It could be either uh, at the bottom like that, or at the top. But you do not want to be like this, except if your drone is right above you. That's it.